And on there, the Dolphins signing Tyree, not signing, trading for Tyree Kill, I thought that we could do an NFL, well, not NFL, a top 10 wide receiver list. I did quarterbacks a few days ago, go, and I think, and I asked my friends, so that's part of the reason I asked my friends what position I should do next. They said receiver or corner, so expect corner to be the next one. But we're going to be doing receivers today. Let's get into it. Before we get into this video, I did want to give an honorable mention to Deontay Johnson, um, receiver for the Steelers. I think he's really good. He's kind of he still has drop problems, but he fixed those a bit in the off season. And I thought he was good. He was really good this season. Great route runner. He was a great route runner. Great after the catch. I really do think that he could easily be in the top ten list. But I have him at eleven. He's my honorable mention. Okay, coming in at number ten, I, I I'm already ready for it to get called biased. I am gonna take the man, the myth, the legend, Jalen Waddle. I'm gonna get called biased, but wait, 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 wait. I really do think this league is filled with talent. And I think anywhere from the 16 to 10 range are all interchangeable, right? But I Waddle's young. He's quick. Great route running. Great hands. Basically everything that I value out of a receiver. My skill set for a receiver. Okay? So, yes. I could see an argument for him not being there. But he's coming off at a 1,000-yard season, over 100 catches. And it's exciting to see what he's going to do with Tyreek Hill on the other side of him. But right now, I have Waddle at 10. At number 9, I have A.J. Brown, wide receiver of the Tennessee Titans. I think he had a really good year when on the field. He'd probably be higher if he was on the field. He had a really good year. He w when, ta when Tannehill struggled without him, but when he came back, Tannehill had some really nice games. And I really think he's a big part of why Tannehill succeeds in Tennessee. And his his yak ability, his route running, his strength, he can he's a great receiver. You get the ball in his hands, he's gonna run, he's gonna run, and he's gonna take it far. Up next, this guy probably would be higher if he played this season, but I'm gonna give it to DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, before the season started, I had him at one. Season progressed, he moved down and down and down, and then he just didn't play. If when healthy, he's a top three receiver. But he just wasn't healthy this year. But he's still a great receiver, great contested, great contested catcher, great, great. He's a pretty decent route runner. But I think we've all seen what he can do when being contested. He can make some incredible catches. And yeah, he's still a great receiver. Give me him at seven for now. Okay. By the way, I didn't mean to say seven. I meant to say eight. But at at seven, we have Debo Samuel. I think Debo Samuels is a really good receiver. He can really do it all. He's great. He's pro he's very versatile. You can give the ball to him. He's basically a better AJ Brown. Great right when it comes to yak. Great, great when it just comes to you get the ball in his hands. He's going to make a play, and that's what, and that's what I see. That's what De Debo does so well. Honestly, I could see him being at three if people want to rank him there. But for me, I have him at six. Fantastic receiver though. At number six, I have Stefan Diggs. He had a really, really good season. You know, it's Stefan Diggs. Him and Josh Allen continue to build up chemistry. He didn't, he didn't have, like, these breakout years that other players have, like, shockingly good years. But that doesn't mean that I don't think that he um isn't good. He I have him at six for now, but he's a fantastic route runner. He has great contested catch ability. Basically, what I've said about all these other guys, they're all pretty similar in a lot of ways. But yeah, Stefan Diggs at number Stefan Diggs at number not at number nine number six. Stefan Diggs, great receiver. At number five, I have Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase had a really surprising rookie season. People were talking about, oh, he's because he was dropping balls in the preseason. Yeah, yeah, he was struggling in the preseason. But when he came out to the field week one, he was an instant impactor. And he was really a big reason. I don't say that much about receivers. He was a big reason on why the Bengals made it to the Super Bowl. He really brought that spark that they needed to that offense. And yeah, give me he'll be higher, but give me Jamar Chase at five for now. At number four, I have the I have the man who basically popularized the gritty. We're talking about Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson went from having a good rookie season to the biggest sophomore jump I have seen. 
Yeah, with with a with a much improved season. Like he had a good rookie season. He had a great season this season. And yeah, I think he really established himself as a top five receiver. He put up elite numbers this season. He had some of the best numbers there were. He was a big reason why Kirk Cousins had the good season he had. Yeah, he'll catch anything that comes into his range. He's a great jump ball receiver. He can he's a great route runner. Yeah, give me Jefferson at four. At number three, I have now Dolphins receiver Tyree Kill. Yes, two Dolphins in the top ten. One, you cannot debate. The other, yes, I see the debate. But this one, you cannot debate Bait, that he's top ten. Wherever you want to put him in the top ten, he's definitely a top five receiver, though. Tyree Kill could just blow past defenses like it is nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. He, he, um, that speed that he uses is him and Mahomes were a match made. I don't know how him and Tua are going to do, but him and Mahomes were a match made. It was perfect. They had perfect synergy. Tyreek would go deep. Mahomes would throw deep bobs. And I don't think people give him much credit. Credit. He's a, also a great route runner. He's actually got really good contested catch ability. And he's, although his hands aren't the greatest, they're still good. So give me Hill at three. At number two, we got the reigning offensive player of the year and Super Bowl MVP, Cooper Cup. I think Cup had a really, 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 really good season. I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna argue that he's coming off the triple crown. Crown. I think that his offense was more focused around him than who who I think y'all think who number one is. Cooper Cup had a really good season though. I'm not taking that away from him. He was a great route runner. When he got the ball in his hands, he would just yak and yak and yak, yak meaning yards after the catch. If you didn't catch on to that. So he would just keep running and running, and the Rams would get him ball in his hands. And he's coming off a triple crown season. So I got to respect that. Give me Cooper Cup at two. And at number one, we got Devontae Adams, receiver of now the Raiders. Devontae Adams has been the reigning best best um, receiver. I had, him at, I had him at two last year, but I don't see how. I really do think he's been the best receiver in the league for the past two seasons, without a doubt. He's been fantastic, great route runner, great. He's a red zone threat. He does everything right. He is the perfect receiver. I'm sorry if that got really loud. He is the perfect receiver. And yeah, give me him at number one.